Good morning, everybody. Just again on uh, how to heal the sick. How do I get sick people healed? And, uh, uh, you know, why is it that so many people pray for sick people, but not so many people get healed as so many people are prayed for? Okay. So how can I effectively get sick people healed? How can I effectively... see people healed. To understand healing the sick more effectively or getting more effectiveness out of our ministering unto the sick, we've got to understand a few things. First of all, okay, do I going to trust that person to have faith or am I coming with the commission? And that has been the story that I see most people praying for the sick still try to throw the ball into the court of the sick person. Okay, so then it's a prayer of believing together with that person. Then you are not trying to get the sick healed. Okay, so I'll just repeat that. Are you going to trust on that person that is sick to have faith? Or are you going to go with the commission to get that person healed? Okay, so in Matthew chapter 10, as well as in Luke chapter 10, Jesus said the following. He called the disciples unto them and he gave them power and authority. Okay, so we've got to understand. One, Jesus gave them, okay, power and authority. Okay, and to heal the sick. And every disease. And <laughs> to cast our demons. Is it funny if we just read fast, we don't see all the ends what he has given us, okay? So Jesus called the twelve unto them and he gave them power and authority over all sickness and all disease. And he said to them, go heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, freely have received, freely give. Okay? So Jesus didn't say, go ask faith go teach faith go teach them how to rely on god go teach them how to depend on god jesus said, you go you heal you go you set them free you go you get them well okay